Hi Sagittarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly love reading for June 11th through the 18th. This is for the sign of Sagittarius. A couple cards came out so we're not going to take them. We're looking for one card from this deck, one card from this deck and if it flips out while I'm shuffling you get to see it now otherwise I will reveal it at the end. This is for the sign of Sagittarius. Typically my readings are love readings, so keep that in mind. Um, remember that the timing is fluid. Whatever this reading comes out to be, it could have happened, could be happening next week, could be happening now, could be happening whenever. Okay. Please keep all negative comments out of the comment section about another sign. I mean, if that keeps happening, I will have to turn off my comment section because it's 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 really sad. People like to bash other people and negativity feeds negativity. So that's why I don't allow it. Um, for the person that begged for the reading, that's just plain rude. Um, you know, it's rude. This is for the sign of Sagittarius. What does Sagittarius need to know? Be strong. Be strong, Sagittarius. You have the strength within you. You do. You just have to pull it out. There could be moments of uh, lack. You know, you may feel like you don't have the strength, but you do. You do. Yeah, somebody feels like there's no spark, there's no energy here. The Ace of Wands, there's no growth, or you know, they may somebody may be feeling um, no energy. I, my energy has been zapped, and I do I apologize for starting the reading out like that. But you know, you may want be feeling like. You don't feel very stable at this time. There's instability here. Instability in some arena of your life. Um, but the strength, that's funny. With the Emperor, these are both very strong cards. Obviously, like I start, it's funny, I started the reading out with strength. It's inside of you. The strength is inside of you. All you have to do is harness it. You have to pull it out. You have to find it. You have to dig deep. You have to be the boss of your own life. You have the ability to regain the structure, the organization, whatever it is that you're lacking. You have the ability to do that, okay? Right now, you, you're probably really focused on everything but love at this time because you're trying to regain that structure and find the strength to overcome something, okay? There's been a lack of growth in some arena of your life. And that could be your job arena. I'm not sure. It could be your finances. You know, there's been some sort of lack of growth. And it feels like you have to find the strength within you to fix it. Okay. Um, you may feel like you've lost your focus. You've lost your concentration. You know, and maybe you have. And we all go through moments of that. Um, but right now, you you need to, there's blockages that are standing in the way of your goals. Those blockages are within you. You have to set a plan. You have to make a plan. It looks like there hasn't been a solid plan to overcome um, a stagnant time or a time of, um, oh, what's the word for it? I can't think of the word. A time of almost like destruction to overcome that you have to be strong you have to find the strength you have to find the courage and the willpower and the discipline to face your fears and I think a lot of you have probably lost your focus and your concentration at this time in regards to your job or your finances you know you you may be feeling like you know you're 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 too hurt in some you're 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 
you're hurting, you're grieving over something, and I'm not sure what it is, but it's affecting your career, it's affecting your finances. For some reason, you're going through some sort of suffering. Could even be an illness, okay? You're going through some sort of suffering that has caused you to lose your ability to grow in some arena of your I think it's your career your job it's like you've lost your drive your energy your passion it's like you're you've you've let it go you can't for some reason you can't find the passion that you used to have it's like you've lost it for some reason just it you know I think it's only for a little while right now you're just going through some sort of um, indecision, emotional turmoil. I think that you're going, th maybe you're having some anxiety. Um, you, maybe you're feeling emotionally detached for some reason. You may be feeling like there's a lot of worry and stress in your life right now that is causing you lack of enjoyment, okay? And I do apologize for bringing you this reading, but there is a lot of stress that is holding you back from expansion okay but you're gaining strength true suffering brings growth and strength it makes you stronger what doesn't kill you makes you stronger and that's what's happening that is what's happening you guys are really gaining a lot of wisdom through this time of suffering trust me you are you are everything happens for a reason but you lack the energy to focus on your job or your work or on much. It's like your focus and your concentration has been totally removed. It's like I, I don't have the desire to work on anything at this time because I'm going through some sort of of, 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 of suffering and I'm not sure this suffering could come in many ways you could be suffering suffering internally for some reason or you could be suffering from it from an illness or you could be suffering from being controlled whatever the case is you are going through some suffering this week that is holding you back from feeling or being financially stable or focusing on your career or focusing period it's just like you're you're there's a it's a week of um oh, I'm sorry, I'm rubbing my chest for you guys. I am. I'm seriously I'm rubbing my chest right over my heart too. You're going through some mental turmoil this week. Big time. A lot of fears, a lot of worry, a lot of indecision. I think you're being you're going through some sort of emotional turmoil that is holding you back from expanding. And it's emotional. It is. And the thing is, is that it's, it's, this is Seven of Cups. It's confusion. It's illusion. You, it's, it's your choice. But you know, what you, what you own owns you. If you choose to live in worry, in despair, in anguish, and block your emotions, okay? If you choose to do that, that's your choice. That's what you own. If you choose to let the hurt, whatever this is, consume you, then it will consume you. You need to find the strength, the willpower, and the confidence to face your fears and take back control of your life. That's what needs to happen. You have to master your emotions. The strength is a mastering your emotions card. You need to find that force within you to prevail. What you own owns you. It's about you finding that force within you to relight the fire that you have. You know, the fire within you has been put out or dimmed to a, you know, a, it's a big deal. Put it that way, it has. But it's all up to you to relight it. You can relight it. Nobody else can. Right now, you're feeling cold and detached and withdrawn. And you're probably feeling like you don't have the energy or the desire to even communicate or do anything. You may not even want to get out of bed in the morning, you know, and that's okay. We all go through moments like that. We do. But like I said, you, the strength is in you. You just got to dig deep to find it. You have the ability to take control of this situation. You do. You have to take the lead. You have to... 
be strong and be stable and be decisive and stand up for yourself. Dominate your own life. Dominate this hurt. Dominate this uh, grief that you're going through. You are the com you are the denominator. You are the dominator. So it feels like this is a week of you of lack of focus. It is. I'm sorry to say, you know, you're probably or you have gone through this recently because of some sort of hurt or or illness that you're going through. Um, maybe it's time to learn some new skills. Maybe you need to learn some new skills so that you can prosper. You know. Some of you are not accepting some sort of truth or you're not communicating at all. Whatever's happening, it's like there's a lack of communication because you haven't found your power. But I think that you will find your power because I do see that once you find your strength and you take back control, you will find victory and success. But you have to have confidence in yourself like I, you do. You can find the confidence. You do have it. Way down deep. Find it. Pull it out. Take action. Hold your head up high. Your, your struggles make you stronger. Hold your head up high. You are gaining wisdom through this struggle, whatever it is that you're going through. But I feel like this is definitely a week of a lack of communication. You don't want to communicate. I don't want to communicate. And I think it's because you are gaining some wisdom through suffering. And when you're suffering, you probably don't want to communicate because you're learning things. You are. You're learning some new skills the hard way or the hard way. And, you know, what's happening here is that um, it's leading you... This suffering that you're going through is leading you towards wish fulfillment. It is. But you are feeling very... You're feeling very unemotional at this time. It's like you feel... You're feeling like you don't have the power to... Move, to move past something, to move on, to manifest newness. But you do. You do. Many of you are feeling quite alone. You're not feeling grateful for the little things which you need to be. You've forgotten about all that you have and all that you're learning during this process. You've forgotten about it. You lack self-confidence. Um, and the fact of the matter is, is that you should be confident because you have a lot going for you. I feel as though... Right now, you need to close a door to this past, whatever it is you're holding on to. You do. You need to feel abundant with where you're at, even if you're not rich. Okay? It's not about all the, that money. It's about um, being happy with what you've got. Okay? It feels as though you need to appreciate the small things, and you're not. You're not. You're wanting more. You want more. And this could be an ego. This could be an ego issue. I want more. I want more. When the fact of the matter is, you probably have enough to survive, but you don't, you want more. And you know, that's, that's, that's human nature. It is. But right now, there's a lack of um, emotional contentment. And there is a lack of finding your inner power to succeed to manifest newness you're not manifesting adequately because you've lost your passion it's like you're not feeling passionate about much this week you're not you're not and i can't say that i can't change this but i do feel like you are making progress whether you know it or not. You are making progress towards wish fulfillment. Trust me, you are. This suffering, this silence that you're probably going through is giving you the wisdom that you need to propel you to a better future. And I think that that's hard to fathom, but that is what's going on, okay? You guys are progressing. You're progressing. And you, you probably don't, don't see it that way, but I do. There's a lack of, I think, self-love this week. Okay, I do. I think there's a lack of self-love. And, and that is an injustice. And this isn't the justice card, but it's the Ace of Swords reversed. That's a lack of truth. Love yourself for all that you are. You're being dishonest with yourself.
Maybe you're alone. Maybe you're living alone and you're sick of it. You don't want to be alone, you know, or you want to be alone because you're not feeling loved in a relationship. It could be that either way, but somebody is feeling very, very alone this week and maybe even wanting to be alone to go through this heartache or suffering that they're going through it's like no i don't i don't want to communicate i don't want to focus i don't want to put energy in i don't want to do anything at this point because i am going through something and i don't even know what it is and that's what's happening you are going through something you don't even know what it is and what's happening is is you're gaining wisdom and strength you're evolving and you don't probably don't see it that way but it's progressing you towards wish fulfillment it really is this suffering is bringing you closer to what it is meant to be. And I know that you don't see it like that, but I do. You need to have faith and trust. Twos are about faith and trust, okay? Okay, you need to take the next step. You need to stop playing games. You need to stop juggling. Maybe you need to slow down a little bit. Maybe... Um, you know, whatever's happening, this difficult period is going to end. It is going to end. The light is going to come back out. This dark period is going to end. In the light, the sun is going to come back out again. It is going to. But you have to stop fearing change. You are fearing change. You're indecisive. You're restricting yourself. And, it, and I have to tell you, there's a lack of planning here big time. This is lack of planning, lack of planning down here, too. You have to plan for the future. If you don't plan for the future and you fly by the seat of your pants, then there's a good chance for failure. I'm sorry, there is. Maybe you need to make some concrete plans, and I know that probably isn't the week for it because it looks like, you know, you've been postponing doing this because you've been lacking energy and drive and passion, but eventually you're going to have to come up with some... some um, solid plans for the future, solid goals. And I think that a lot of you haven't quite done that yet. You know, when you set goals and you put them on paper, it's a lot easier for to fulfill them because you wrote them down and you don't forget it and you can go back to that piece of paper and take steps to meet those goals. And I'm not sure that it doesn't look like you guys have planned sufficiently for the future and it's caused some restrictions in your life, okay? I feel like you guys right now are staying in a situation that is safe only for that reason, because it's safe, when the fact of the matter is, is that if you want to find balance in your life, you are going to have to be flexible, and you're going to have to um, take steps, okay, you're going to have to take steps to find that balance, I feel as though um, right now you're probably choosing a mundane life because it's safe, it's safe. But it's dark. And the thing is, is it is time for you to take the next step, Sagittarius. It is. It's time for you to find your strength and your willpower to take the lead and be the boss of your own life. And plan. Plan. Get organized. Figure out where you want to go. Put it down on paper and take the steps to do that. Until then, you're, you, I mean, if you don't have any goals, then... It's really hard to get anywhere. It is. So anyway, I feel like this is a week of coming up with those goals. Or, or maybe even this is still a week of withdrawal. But this withdrawal is, is, is giving you wisdom. So you are coming. You're thinking. It's a thinking week. It's a week of contemplation, you know trying to figure out where you're going and that is that's because that's pretty much what this reading has been about trying to figure out what the next steps are trying to figure out where you're going um you're going through some suffering right now because you haven't taken the the time to set those goals and i feel like this is a week of you are absolutely making progress trust me you are you are making progress to getting your life back on track you are this silence is serving you very, very well. It is. It is. So, you know, that's what I think this week is about. Um, you may fe be feeling like you're being held back, but you're holding yourself back. Wow. 
Wow. Past life relationship. You've known each other before. I don't know how that resonates. You figure it out. Peace. Peace. It's, it's time for you to bring some peace back to your life. And maybe this is a week of quietness so that you can come, so that you can find peace within you. Peace is needed. So take all the time you need to bring peace back to your soul. This is a week, uh, I think it's a week of withdrawal where you will probably want to withdraw from the outer world as much as possible to rejuvenate your soul. And, and gain the wisdom that you need to be strong. So, yeah, I feel like this is a week of um, probably trying to restore some balance and peace and harmony in your life after a lack of, of growth, a lack of concentration, a lack of planning, a lack of, of love, you know. So that's what I have, Sagittarius. Um, I wish you the best. Don't give up because you are progressing towards victory and success and happiness and wish fulfillment, whether you know it or not. This is just a stepping stone on the journey that is giving you, making you stronger. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And that this is a week of, of going through some sort of suffering that is making you stronger. So it is what it is, right? We all go through it. Apparently it's your turn. Talk to you later.